magnify that times a thousand because the nail was going through that nerve in the feet and in the arms. Can you imagine? He was laid, stretched wide and hung high with his arms open wide and said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. This is amazing to me how his love, it wasn't the nails, it wasn't the five-inch nails or the nine-inch nails that went through his feet that held him on that cross. It was a love for me and you to save us. If there had just been one, the Bible says, he'd have done it. He'd have went to the cross to save your soul. Isn't that amazing? Now that's why we say amazing love. That's why we sing the hymns. That's why we glorify Christ. And that's why some people get excited and they shout and want to run about. Mm -hmm. Amen. We ought to be shouting and running about. You got people that want to shout at football games and paint themselves all blue and purple and act crazy and take their shirt off and act like a nut. But when it comes to Jesus, they don't even get excited. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard for me because when I first got filled with the Holy Ghost, I couldn't stay still and I still can't stay still. <laughs> It's not just because I'm hyper. I know I'm a little weird. <laughs> it's because He fills you with that power and that passion within you. He's the one that puts that faith there. He's the one that increases that passion because your heart wants it. If you've got a right heart for Jesus, He'll put all that inside and your passion will explode for Him and you'll sell out. It's not a trying or struggling to sell out. You just want to sell out. You want all of Jesus, not some of it. That's another thing they would do in Exodus that was laid down. They would eat the whole Passover lamb. Many people just want to take a piece of the Scriptures and take some and put them to the side and say, that's not inspired by God. It's not written in red, so it's not inspired by God. So I'm going to put that to the side. No, it's the whole lamb. All Scriptures God breathed and inspired of God. All of it. So the whole lamb, the whole Word of God, when you get filled with the Spirit of God, you want all of it. Amen. You want the whole, from Genesis to Revelation, you don't want to cut nothing out. You want to understand what happened back then and what's happened now. And is Christ concealed and Christ revealed. The Old Testament is Christ concealed. The New one is Christ revealed. You can see Jesus on every page if you'll get with the Holy Spirit and let Him give you wisdom. It's beautiful. And you want to receive the whole Word. You don't want to just be politically or religiously correct these days. You want to say, no, God's true, and let every man be a liar. Because you know and you see the passion and the tears and the blood he sweated and gave for us. My goodness. I, it's amazing to me that ministers don't want to preach the cross anymore. And they don't want to preach about sin or the blood atonement. It says in Hebrews 9.22, without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. So when you're going to these apostate churches and they won't speak of the cross, they won't speak of sin, and they won't speak about the blood because they say it offends, there's no salvation there. Amen. It's uh, amazing that they would not reverence what Christ paid for there and the passion He gave and the, His love He gave at the cross. We should remember these things. That's Amen. why I'm going back over what that Lamb of God means. It's not just some words that said real fast and then we open the Bible and we go to some type of positive speech. No, we understand that He shed His life's blood. He gave His very breath. They didn't murder Him. Everybody see He was murdered. He was murdered. I mean, it's a shame. I talked to the guy the other day. He was just murdered. That was a shame. No, He gave Himself. How do we know this? Backed up by Scripture. Because when they come to get Him, all them soldiers came to grab hold of Him. In the book of John, he says, I am he. Who is Jesus? Which one of you is Jesus? He said, I am he. And they all fell to the ground. By those words, they all fell to the ground. Jesus don't have to lift a finger. He don't even have to lift a pinky to fight. All he's got to do is word. Word. Knock the whole regiment down. Then they got back up and said again, he said, I am he. That's what he is. Can you imagine? This lets you know that he had to Humble himself and give himself to them. That's the power of God Almighty. That's the power of Jesus. He wasn't <laughs> just grabbing the murder. He gave himself for us, me and you. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, for the Holy Spirit. It says in 1 Corinthians 15, 22, For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Have you ever had that experience? 
Have you ever had the salvation experience to where your spirit is quickened and you feel Him living inside and you can feel Him looking out your eyes and you've been made alive? Amen. Honestly, yes. you can feel the life within you. It's not just some words or poetry or some type of philosophy. It is real. You can feel the Spirit of God living with the inside of you. And everything looks different. The trees, the grass, people, animals, everything's different. Because He is what? In Christ, all is made alive. His Word is a living Word. And it doesn't matter if you've never read a, an inch, you can't read, you, you failed school, or if you got ADHD. What they call it, ADHD. You can open up the Word of God and the Holy Spirit will enlighten you. Mm -hmm. He will give you wisdom. I'm sure we got to put it in. Mm -hmm. I know. We do need teachers. I'm not saying we don't. <laughs> we got to put it in. However, some of us have difficulties. But like Moses stuttered. <laughs> Did he say he stuttered? In Exodus chapter 3? Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, God said, Who gives man his mouth mm. or causes him to speak? He can give you understanding of the Bible. You don't have to go to the History Channel for your philosophy. Amen. For theologies. Mm -hmm. You can open up the Word of the Living God and the Holy Spirit can teach you. 1 John chapter 2, 27. You have an unction from the Holy One. The anointing will teach you all things. You don't have to get your theology from man. No, we just inspire you to go to Christ. Amen. He's the one that leads and guides you into all truth. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. That's what He paid for. That's one of the things He paid for through the cross. To give us the power of the Holy Spirit to understand His Word. Before they had to go to the priest. And half the people didn't even know what was going on because the priest had added so much junk to it like we have these days. There's so many denominational doctrines and theologies. Most people don't know what's happening. Who's right and who's wrong? Are you supposed to be sprinkled with some herbs? Are you supposed to have a piano? But if you go to the Lord and you let the Holy Spirit teach you, you will know because He'll lead you by the Scriptures. <clears throat> He'll lead you to Psalms. I think it's 150. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. He'll lead right. you. And His example of baptism. He'll lead you to the Scriptures. You won't have to have man to always harp their doctrine inside your soul. Jesus will lead you. Amen. Because why? Because the stone was rolled away. Amen. He's come out of the tomb and He's alive. Amen. And He's living. Amen. And He's walking these aisles because Amen. where two or three are gathered, He's among us. Yes. Do we believe Amen. that? Because the resurrection, when it is taught and spoken about, many people's hearts have many different things that come forth. Yes. In Acts chapter 17, there was a bunch of philosophers and scientists in Athens, and they were all sitting there philosophizing. I don't know if I made that word up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, that's what they were doing. They were all speaking, and they love talking about philosophy. Many people love that, they do. And it's interesting, I'll be honest with you. When I read research, I, I like to know what other people believe, what they think, and what other cultures have. 